the risks you take in this life and the sacrifices, they're not compared to the joy. If I, where I am right now in this moment, can accept whatever's happening to me as coming from the hands of a good God, then I am being holy. It's a very common, ordinary spirituality that each person can accomplish. The word oblate means offering. And so we offer ourselves in the spirit of St. Francis de Sales to God. But we do that primarily through how we relate to each other and how we relate to all the people with whom we come in contact with. When I discovered the Oblates, or met the Oblates for the first time at North Catholic, I knew these guys had something different about them. Positive, optimistic, joyful, upbeat spirit of gentleness, gentleness toward one another. They were so grounded, they were so human. You saw all their faults, you saw all their foibles. At the head or the portal of every door that you would walk into an Oblate community, there should be a sign saying, characters welcome. Uh, you know, I didn't join the Oblates thinking of myself as a really good person. You know what I mean? Like I never thought like, oh, I'm holy and these other people are holy. Let's... I said to myself, I struggle living my faith. I need structure and relationships and support from a community. I was a young man who was trying to figure out what he was supposed to do with his life. I, was, I felt called to religious life and I didn't know where to go. Uh, I, like many Oblates, I attended an Oblate school. I attended uh, St. Francis de Sales High School. <laughs> I graduated on Friday, went to the Oblates on, uh, on a Sunday. And the longer I was around the Oblates, the more impressed I became with the spirituality. I heard one time that Salesian spirituality is better caught than taught. So they definitely caught me and um, I joined. Salesian spirituality, of course, is connected with St. Francis de Sales and St. Jane de Chantel. St. Francis de Sales was born in 1567, died in 1622. He worked all the time with laity, so he was always trying to figure out how can God, who calls everybody to holiness, be found by people who are in busy lives or carrying the weight of the world on them as they tried to live with poverty or with illness. And the good mother took that from the teachings of St. Francis de Sales that they found in this little book he wrote called The Spiritual Directory. That is the centerpiece of the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales to live the spiritual directory. It's basically how to order your day from the rising of the sun to its setting, from the time you get out of bed to the time you go to bed. There's different things you do and you pray for and you direct your intention to. Every day is an adventure as an Oblate of St. Francis de Sales. I spend a great deal of time in my ministry in the ministry of the Oblates. The Oblates are involved in a number of ministries. It's not so much where we work, but how we work or what we do. I work at the nursing home. We have a nursing home nearby. One day I can be at a football game, leading a pep assembly, to running benediction in the chapel. And so mathematics is the subject area that I currently teach, but I also spend a lot of time on the road visiting young people who are in the discernment process. Father Bruce said we should enter society just as it is, with our feet first, roll up your sleeves and get dirty. Priestly ministry gives you a chance to do wonderful things for people at very important times in their life. But religious life does wonderful things for you. Community life for religious and consecrated life is so very, very important. Yeah, community life is a trip. <laughs> we were across the spectrum, as you know, knowing Oblates. You know, we're all not on the same page all the time, but that's the wonderful part of our community life. You know, living with people, you rub up against them. Community ends up being the sandpaper through which we find our holiness. Um, community is also a lot of fun. You know, we have, we have downtime, so there'd be Saturdays where we would have things like the great chili cook-off and four or five Oblates. We'd make chili, you know, we'd all, who's got the best chili? We spend time just relaxing, and we have a great time. To living life together. You know, we, we don't vow to live life alone. It's my security system, it's my family system, uh, it's my home. But also, like the radical call of the vows. They keep me accountable to being as close to Christ as I possibly can be. Religious life is a way of imitating Christ, who himself was obedient, poor, and chaste. And because of the vows, I'm able to walk forward with freedom, with hope, with trust, with, I think, an authentic heart. I encourage people not to be afraid to try. 
Don't be afraid to explore or look into religious life. But at least give it the consideration that it needs. If you find anything burning in your heart, it's worth taking the risk on something that can produce such good things. Thank God for the vocation, for the call in your life, and then respond. Become an associate. Eat with us. Celebrate with us. You know, cry with us. Learn who we are. Minister with us. And then make a decision if this is where God's calling you to be or not.